positive guys and goddesses of planet Kai. Peace, meaning positive energy. I always create civilization. I also want to send peace out to have our racial human beings, the Caucasians and Asians, Mexicans, Shavidians, and Arabs. Um, as you know, this university is open to everybody, and this university only stands for peace. I'm coming to you to bring awareness to my situation. I'm not asking for any violence, just for us to move in peace, which is positive energy. Once again, it always creates elevation. Grand Rising Cosmic Family, I am aware that millions of souls who have not heard from me since April, so I'm writing this email to provide all of my students and supporters worldwide with an update personally from the horse's mouth. I have been detained since May 3rd. I am currently being held in Barrow County Jail, located in Winder, Georgia, about an hour and a half north of the city of Atlanta, Georgia, which is where I reside along with my wife and kids. Rashad Jamal has always been very transparent with his audience, and I made the public aware of the charges placed against me last September of 2021 in a live lecture I did called Dirty Cops, in which I exposed the lies and fabrications placed upon my character. The live video has since been deleted and mysteriously removed. I would have spoke up sooner, but I'm only allowed out myself for 30 minutes a day, and I don't want anything to happen to me as well as my family. I don't want them to cut our visit, so I haven't spoke out about what's going on and the way I've been, been mistreated um, from the bond hearing down to my incarceration. None of us is free from falling in frequency while living in these avatars called bodies down here within this physical realm. The lie Zeus slash Satan wants you to believe is that no one is perfect and that we are all born in sin. But this statement is to deceive you into accepting the wicked ways of his kingdom and could be no farther from the truth. We descend down into this material realm in complete perfection. But the moment upon our inception or birth, we are injected with nanobot technology and placed under light cold lockdown of this matrix through the miseducation of social programming, the promotion of sex, violence and drugs and movies and music, the poison of our, of our minds through news outlets and the destruction of our temples, bodies through modern day medicines. And the list goes on. With that being said, I have made many mistakes in this lifetime since my reincarnation as I seek to ascend back to the state of perfection from which I came. I am a God, and all of my people, the black and Latino people, are gods, and we were made in the image of our creator. Therefore, I am an extension of her slash them, and I am the creator and destroyer of my reality. So I take full responsibility for all events I have experienced during this lifetime, for this is what we call shadow work in the spiritual realm. But I have never and will never harm an innocent child or disrespect the source of all creation, which is the Anunnaki goddesses, a.k.a. the black slash Latino woman. This is nothing more than a scandal, a propaganda campaign, debauchery, modern-day cointel pro being used to tarnish my name in an attempt to destroy my image and legacy to turn not just my people but all people against me so that they no longer accept my message. For we all know there is no worse of title than to be labeled a rapist or a pedophile. Speaking of message, what is my message? What does divine insight really stand for? My message is clear. I was sent back to this planet to enlighten and inform and increase the frequency of the planet and to help rid this planet of its parasitical invaders. I am one of the original 23 scientists, the 119th soul ever created, spiritual assassin, warrior for righteousness, protector of Mata Isfet, guardian of the gods. I came back to unite the gods with the humans and then unite the two with nature. For we are to love the animals in nature just as we love ourselves. Divine unity is the only way. The oppressors seek to label me a pedophile because I had the courage to speak out against them and expose their lies, plots, and plans within their satanic kingdom as opposed to labeling me what I really am, which is a black activist, scientist, philosopher, historian, philanthropist, author, revolutionary poet, and a public speaker working hard to raise the vibration of the collective consciousness. Moreover, I'm not some radical or rambunctious pedophile, but I am a free thinker and a free freedom fighter who speaks out against all forms of oppression, including white supremacy, police brutality, gun violence, black on black crime, the race war, which puts the blacks versus the whites, sexism, sexism and, the and the degradation of, the, of women slash the goddess, the discrimination of the LGBT community, body shaming and the discrimination of, against fat people. Kids who get bullied, and I'm also an advocate for the Blue Crystal Baby slash the youth of today who get judged and are misunderstood, as well as the elders of yesteryear who deserve the utmost respect for paving the way for everything taking place today. I speak out for 
all people, regardless of race, religion, sexual preference, or social status. In a world that thrives off negative energy and division, I stand for positive energy and unity. What is taking place with my situation is truly a travesty. I am being castigated for a crime I did not commit. I have had correctional officers tell me that if I use my social media platform to bring attention to what's going on, that they will take away my phone calls and visitation rights, which is only the way I'm able to check on my wife and kids who need me dearly. I thought we had a First Amendment right. By saying that I can't bring attention to what's going on, you're actually proving the fact of which I always stated in all my lectures that as descendants or, 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 or the children of former slaves that we do not have any rights in this country. I'm not asking for anybody to attack the jail or to attack the judge or the DA. I'm not asking for anybody to do any of that. I am simply bringing attention to what's going on with a black activist who does righteous things in the community. I was told that I would end up like Sandra Bland if I go public, which is the, which is the black activist who was found hung in her cell in Texas. This is also what took me so long to write this letter. I have paid almost 100 k in legal fees trying to prove my innocence. I even had two lawyers turn on me. One lawyer, Gerald Griggs, who I trusted because he is the president of the Georgia NAACP, sold me into slavery because he did not present any of our evidence at my bond hearing, including over 100 people showing up on my behalf and over 1,000 over character witness letters, as well as hundreds of YouTube clips showing my character, of which he did not call but only two witnesses, my mom and wife to the stand, which he did not prep, nor did he play any YouTube clips or read a single recommendation letter. I had recommendation letters coming from politicians. None of these were read. I trusted him because I thought he was a black activist like myself, but I see I was wrong. The other lawyer, Ted Johnson, was paid $30,000 cash and was paid in full October 1st, 2021, but did not make an entry on my case until May 19th, 2022. He did no work at all. He withdrew from my case July 15th, 2022, with no refund. At least Gerald Griggs' office did set up court dates and bond hearings on my behalf. The only thing I didn't like about Mr. Griggs is that he didn't fight hard for me at the bond hearing, which made me like a straight radical to the judge. But Mr. Johnson, however, did nothing. So basically, he sold $30,000 cash away from me and my family. Nevertheless, I wish them both the best in life. I am not able to go to the law library and work on my case because Beryl County does not have one, and I would like to work on my case. People sent me legal books in, but the jail would not even allow me to get them. This is the first jail I've been in where I can't have legal books. Moreover, the state is trying to rush my case to trial, and I'm still scrambling to put my legal team together. On top of that, the mother of my child who lied and put this false case on me is now saying that Zaza White, a child I took care of for two years, is now not my son. Meanwhile, I'm being slammed across social media, other so-called leaders in the community, except for a few, other than Rod Hayes and Spiritual Soul, Isis Wisdom, Black Magic 363. I appreciate all, the, all of them guys and goddesses. Other than that, most of the leaders don't have anything to say about it because they want to see my demise. And the evil, vindictive woman who put this case on me is being rewarded with interviews. But how about y'all, if y'all going to interview, how about y'all ask her, why did she allow her oldest daughter to be called a sex trafficker in 2018? And why has she been put under investigation with defects twice? The alleged victim in this case, she was put under defects investigation for beating her in 2018. How, how about y'all ask for that? How about y'all ask for how she's 40 plus years old still living on Section 8? How about y'all ask her, how is it that just five months after putting this state case on me, how are you out here catching cases with your oldest daughter? You're supposed to be teaching her right from wrong. She caught two felony cases November 2021. And they were for theft. So she's out here stealing. Stealing. But, you know, let him who has eyes see clearly. Nevertheless, I'm not asking for any harm to come her way or to anybody's way. I wish all of them the best because the ancestors will always have the last lives and everything last lives and everything happens in divine earth order. But let the record reflect. Marcus Garvey, Malcolm X, and Martin Luther King, as well as JFK, spoke out against oppression and all ended up assassinated. Bar Marley spoke out through his music and he ended up with a needle filled with poison in his shoes. The Black Panther spoke out and all ended up dead or in jail. Left Eye spoke out and ended up dead in Honduras. Princess Diana spoke out and ended up dead in a car crash. Tupac spoke out and was gunned down in Vegas. Michael Jackson warned us through songs like, it don't matter if you black or white and they don't really care about us. And he was killed by his doctor and was labeled a pedophile majority of his career. Dr. Sebi spoke out by carrying AIDS naturally and was chilled in New York. Nipsey Hussle tried to keep up Seppi's work, and he was gunned down in L.A. 
Nick Cannon tried to pick up where Nipsey Hussle left off, and he lost his whole show. Cat Williams spoke out through his comedy, and he was labeled a crackhead and arrested the next five years over 20 times. Kanye spoke out and was placed under MK Ultra. Cosby tried to buy NBC and was later accused of raping over 50 women. Kobe Bryant spoke out and put a lawsuit against Big Pharma, and they crashed his helicopter with him and Gigi in it. Dave Chappelle spoke out and lost his show. Rashad Jamal spoke out, and now he gets falsely accused of child molestation. Let him who has eyes see clearly. Everyone who stands up against oppression either gets killed, falsely imprisoned, or they kill their image. I'm just bringing awareness of what's going on with my situation, and I'm just speaking honest facts like I always do, the esoteric truth. If you're going to interview the mother of my child, are you going to believe anything she's saying? How about you look into her background? See what she's doing to help the community, help the planet, help the people, or better yet, help the kids in her house. Running all type of dicks in and out that house around my alleged son, who who now all of a sudden, after a case is put on me, he isn't my son. I would like for the district attorney, who, who I don't have an issue with, but he should turn around and put the case on her. You, you, you're charging the wrong person. But hey, this will come with the territory when you stand for what's right. You stand for what's right. I shouldn't have to sit here. I only get out myself 30 minutes a day. I haven't violated any of the jail rules. If I don't get a video visit, I'm not getting out. They won't let me have a cellmate at all. That's solitary confinement. Meanwhile, you have people in this year who actually commit violations, and they go to the hole, and they go right back into the population. I'm not getting the medical treatment I need. I'm not ex allowed to express my freedom, of, my freedom of religion, which is e in a way, and spirituality, because they're forcing me to drink, use toothpaste with fluoride in it. They won't give me any fruit. You know? But let him who has eyes see clearly. U.S. Marshals pour guns on me and my kids. My bond was denied and I was called a cult leader. I'm not a cult leader. I, I stand for righteousness. We just merely give YouTube every every Sunday. We give lectures every Sunday on YouTube and I have a website. There's nothing to code about that. But T.D. Jakes and Joel Osteen, they have millions of people in their congregation too and they're not labeled cult leaders. Oh, let me get it. Because they're, they're teaching Christianity. So because I'm teaching about spirituality, I'm labeled a cult leader. But Joel Osteen, who has millions in his congregation, it's not labeled a cult leader. Or how about these Catholic priests who get charged with molesting these boys and they actually do it? This is a hearsay case. No physical evidence backs up anything in this case. But these Catholic priests, they actually get charged with molesting these little boys and they actually sign DNA and everything. And guess what? They don't sit at home without a bond. They back in the pulpit the next Sunday. Or how about Deshaun Watson? He's been charged with over 26 women have came out and claimed sexual misconduct against him, but he's still allowed to run quarterback options for the Cleveland Browns every Sunday. But peace to the gods and goddesses of Planet High. Peace to all the high vibration of human beings. And if y'all never hear from me again or if my video visits are taken or, or they don't allow me to see my wife and kids, then y'all know that everything I said was true because right now I should have the right to freedom of speech to speak my mind. Now we rise. I leave as I come. I say.